Hello Sagittarius and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Okay, the full moon energy, I feel like this person, um, yeah, I feel like they're being called here by the divine to confess some things that they've done, tell you how they feel, confront you, okay? This is full moon energy, though, I'm getting. So this was recently. So this person has been thinking about what they're about to say to you, okay? They're tapping on this one blade here on the bottom because they know that they've put you through a lot of heartache, a lot of betrayal. This is somebody who's who was pretty much forced to look at themselves, okay? And realize, um, wake up to the fact that they really screwed up. They screwed you over, okay? And Spirit's wanting this person to make things right. Um, I feel like all they did was watch you, um, especially maybe over the holidays. So whatever you're posting out there, they're seeing it. They could be even, look, in this toxic devil energy, Spirit's like, will you just take a look at yourself already? Will you just look at yourself? I, I feel like this person could be trying to, like, maybe add up your money and see how much money you're making. Or they could be watching you work. I don't know. I, I feel like maybe you have your own platform or something they're seeing you do online. Okay? So it's something you could have a, a, a job on the Internet or... Um, Maybe you're posting photos of yourself, okay, and you look fabulous, and you're abundant, and you're stable, and you're beautiful, and you've changed, like you've transformed, you know? Your hair could have grown out because I'm seeing long hair. You could have, like, red streaks in your hair as well. Um, but, yeah, this person may be jealous, envious because you're doing so well, and you're looking so good. And you're out here single, and I feel like you're attracting the attention of a lot of people right now because um, you're very confident, you're very independent, you're strong, you're reliable, you're responsible, dedicated. You're like everything that they're not. And I feel like um, your strength, they feel weak compared to you, okay? Okay. This person is kind of like, I don't know what they're, this devil, toxic devil energy, they could have addictions as well. And they're being, this is a calling, this person's being called by the divine to change something or um, confront their own issues, okay? Yeah, see, this person, I feel like they either have or they, yeah, they've, They've betrayed you. They've done some pretty nasty things um, behind your back. Uh, dragged your reput reputation through the mud. Maybe even got in the middle of some connections with you. And I feel like at the time, this person was possibly happy to do that. You know, this is somebody who felt proud when they were trying to ruin something for you. Okay, and now they're being told they need to apologize for this and make it right. For every single time they stuck a sword in your back and through your heart, they need to apologize. You could be dealing with a Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. You could be a Virgo. You could be dealing with a Capricorn as well. But, um, yeah, look. And I feel like this person, uh, maybe they're making some kind of plan here because I know they're thinking about what they're going to say. They could even be rehearsing it. Rehearsing some apology, you know, but yet they still have this toxic energy. I feel like they're, they're being forced to confront this and confront you and take a look at themselves, but this person really hasn't changed, you know. I, I feel like that's what spirit is. Um, I feel like spirit is whooping this person's butt, actually, okay, because of all that they've done in the past. They could be, be feeling very stuck right now. Like there's a lot of um, 
obstacles in their way, okay? If they, if they want any kind of new beginning, they feel kind of trapped and stuck. Um, no new opportunities are coming in. This person could even, um, I feel like they may, they may be jealous of your money and the money you're making. So they could be fairly poor right now or having a possibly a financial struggle while you're out here having this victory moving on. You could be a Cancer or a Libra. Yeah, you're getting your justice. I feel like, you know what? It's your turn. You, It's your turn to have a major win and a major victory here. Okay, collective. You know, we've got judgment, the higher font, and justice. You're moving on in the chariot, having having this victory, being all kinds of wonderful and fabulous. The wheel of fortune is turning in your favor now because you're closing the door on this person from the past. Okay, now they feel like compelled to come in and apologize because spirit is calling them to do it. You know, this person, I feel like they're watching whatever you're posting on the internet. So they're looking at your photos or, um, yeah, see, now they, they want to choose a new path. But all this person, all they really feel like doing is fighting with you and stalking you, okay? They may even be wondering if, you've, um, if you're talking to anybody new. I feel like you're walking away from them. They're in so much regret. Oh, look at this. I feel like this person loves you, but they're jealous of you and hateful of you at the same time. Because I feel like you're doing better than they are. And this, um, two shakes before this, was the most underestimated person in the deck. Okay? At the seven of pentacles, this person may have thought that you didn't have enough to offer them. They could have thought that, you know, something about you wasn't enough. It, you either didn't have a fancy enough job or... Maybe you started a project that they thought was silly or stupid or crazy, and it ended up being a major success here. Okay? They also know that you're independent and single. And if you're doing anything online, you're attracting a lot of attention to you. This person is realizing, man, they walked away from a soulmate connection here. One that they highly underestimated. And now I feel like this person, they're jealous of you. They're jealous of um, if you're entertaining anyone, right? They're feeling maybe possessive. But now they're realizing they're in love with you. And they just quite simply do not want, they don't want to let you go. Look at that. This could very well be a twin flame. And, you know, this masculine is learning a lesson. On their knees with the higher font out here, yeah. And being stuck in their life while you're out here succeeding. And they're being made to watch you. That's why spirits put you in some kind of spotlight. Okay? That's why spirit... Um, I feel like you rose from the ashes. Um, a spirit lifted you up. Okay? Put you in some kind of spotlight or on the internet somehow so this person could watch your glow up. And they, they're they hating it. This is burdening them. This is something that they can't, they can barely stand this anymore. I feel like they, they want to come with you now. They want to, um, they want to be on the same path you're on. They want a new beginning in life. Yeah, look, they had wish fulfillment here and this person didn't even know it. They underestimated you. They didn't see your worth and your value. You know, with you, they can have ultimate wish fulfillment. The Ten of Cups. You know, I feel like this person is making a choice. They go from, it's like they're in the Ten of Wands energy here, and I feel like they're going to drop two wands and communicate and take some action. Okay, they're coming in to apologize, but here's the thing. Man, you know, yeah, see, and there it is, the Eight of Wands. 
10 minus 2 is 8. This is that action card. This is them wanting to communicate. I'm telling you. But I feel like spirit kind of wa wants them to watch you succeed for a while. <laughs> you know? Um, or wanted them to. They needed to learn a lesson. They needed to take a look at themselves. Yeah, because this person was a player. I feel like they played you in the past. They took a risk. Or they took risks with this connection. They weren't serious when they came in. They could have juggled you as well with other people. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, so you know what? They treated you like you were the Five of Pentacles. Okay, and I feel like you were in a time of financial struggle. Something about you wasn't flashy enough. They saw you as being, um, you know, not worthy, okay? Maybe this person thought that um, you would always be codependent or need them for something. I don't know, but I feel like this person put you out in the cold. And, and now you're, um, you're kind of denying them. You're denying them of any attention, of the love that you used to give them. Like you're taking all of your energy back. You're calling your energy back and your power back. And you're making a decision here to cut this person out. You know, and protect your heart. You're protecting your heart. I feel like, um, so during the full moon energy, because I'm seeing a full moon here and a full moon here, okay? Um, during this full moon energy, all your person could do was think about you. And, uh, and while you were like, I'm never going to be, I'm never going to feel this way again. I'm determined to move forward, okay? I'm going to focus on myself and the things that I'm growing in a happy home life because I deserve to be happy. You could be a Gemini. They could be a Gemini as well. You can kind of sense that this person wants to come in and apologize, okay? But, I, yeah, I'm seeing that it's over. This person could have manipulated you. I feel like they did a lot to you that they can't come back from, okay? There, there's just too much that they've done that they can't come back from. Yep, and you're moving on with the world card. You could be making a house move, a, lo a major location change. I'm seeing you also on the internet, attracting a lot of attention to you in that confident, strong, balanced energy, okay? And spirit has put you in some kind of spotlight on a pedestal here so that this person could watch you on a glow up. But you're closing out a cycle, okay? You, Yeah, you're deciding. You're making a decision, and you're choosing you, and you're choosing your future, and you're moving on. And this is, I feel like this is a cycle that's um, coming to a completion, okay? But your person is still, I feel like, um, they're either being led to apologize for the things that they've done or they're being led to take a look at themselves in the mirror. I feel like it's both. Okay? I feel like it's both. Yeah. I'm getting the sense that this person, they're feeling very defensive. Um, there could be others around them that are telling them to come towards you or maybe they're talking about the kind of accomplishments you're making with whatever you're building on the internet. Or they could be talking about your photos that you've put on the internet. Because I feel like that's what's got this person originally triggered, is something that you posted. Something you put out there for everybody to see. And it could even, it could be pictures of you, maybe pictures of you traveling, any kind of information you're putting out there, other people are seeing it now too. And they're starting to turn on this person for the things that they've done. So, you know, as spirit is calling this person to confront the situation and take a look at themselves, spirit's also using others to come in and um, call this person out on their BS. Okay? 
Yeah, people are going to start um, confronting them or walking out of their life. You know, uh, spirit's turning on the pressure. They're putting the pressure on this person. Yeah. They don't know what to do. They don't know what to do. I'm kind of getting the sense that they're scrambling, you know, um, trying to save their reputation, but yet at the same time, they don't want to lose you, and they're being called to communicate, and they don't want to do that, but they're miserable, and they keep watching you in this toxic energy. This person is just, what the heck? And I feel like um, they can't sleep at night over this either. All they're doing is thinking about you. You're not bending, you're not breaking, you're not backing down. You're not going to be communicating with them. You are moving forward. They keep thinking about the things that they've done, maybe the things that you've said or the whatever you're posting on the Internet. I feel like it's got this person completely bugged out. Okay? And they're, they're trying to like avoid a confrontation like this isn't what they wanted to do they were in some kind of competition with you or something this is a this is a grown adult masculine energy who was competing with somebody that they thought was nothing and they lost okay um i feel like and it you weren't competing with anybody but you're moving on way more stable and abundant than they are you know I feel like they just wanted to if if you weren't gonna stay down they wanted to find a way to keep you down by doing a lot of chit chat gossip and um, slander behind your back everybody's going up against this person now whoever they were talking to about you um, those people are now confronting them on their BS. Yeah, this person, man, I, I don't know what else to tell you. It's, it's kind of, they feel like a jumbled mess right now. Yeah, look, can't sleep at night. Look, two nine of swords coming out. They need to look at their own patterns of behavior. Like, what is wrong with this person? I'm getting the sense that they're starting to think that they're a big that they're going crazy. Okay. Yep, and there's all these people coming at them for being manipulative, for manipulating you, for trash talking you behind your back, for trying to slander your name and ruin your reputation. All of these people are coming back around um, to uh, basically defend you. And question this person, why are you doing this? Yeah, this person's under major judgment. If they're not listening to the divine, they're gonna, the, the divine is going to get through to them through other people that are around them. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. And here you are in that Nine of Pentacles, beautiful energy, just focused on you, doing your own thing, being beautiful, single, independent, and fabulous, okay? You're just doing your own thing, um, maybe dreaming up some things for your new future, right? You're opening a portal here, so you're starting a new life. You may see this person as a snake, okay, because I'm seeing a snake in that picture, High Priestess energy, extremely intuitive. Oh, boy, are you, your third eye is popping. Um, you could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Virgo. I want to say it's heavy on Cancer and Virgo right now in this reading, and Gemini. Okay, yeah, this, this masculine is realizing here. Um that they just lost you boom tower moment sudden realization they just lost you and you could very well be this person's divine counterpart okay twin flame soulmate connection here you're making a decision to cut this person out because you know what after all the ways that they've treated you they're not good enough for you collective and that's what they thought about you 
They thought that you weren't enough for them. They thought that, I don't know, there was something not good enough about you. That's what they thought. But now, because they haven't shown you anything but um, betrayal and slander, you're making a decision that they're not worthy of you. They can't stand that. I feel like that's another thing that's got them kind of angry. Okay? Boy, the roles have been reversed. I'm telling you guys. The roles have been reversed here. Um, let me see what they want to say. What does this person want to say to my collective? I think about you so much, it's scaring me. Yeah, now they can't stop thinking about you. They can't stop watching you, okay? We both need time to heal. Yeah, I... Nah. I feel like you've already healed from this person. I still love you, and I can't stop thinking about you. Yeah. I feel, I feel like you're saying, I think you are better off without me, or maybe that's what they're saying, or maybe that's what they're thinking. Yep, and they're, they're afraid to open up to you. Things move so fast, I didn't know how to trust my feelings for you. I struggle with revealing my true feelings and emotions, but I love you more than you think. I'm secretly obsessed with you. And that is true. They are. They could be watching everything that you're doing under a fake profile as well because they're kind of keeping themselves hidden right now. I, they don't want you to know that they're watching you pretty much 24-7. I don't understand what this connection really is. Yeah, but they are learning a lesson. They learned the hard way, okay, basically. And spirit is literally forcing this person to watch you have a huge success and glow up. 